Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we have compiled things to avoid as a beginner quilter from the queen of the quilting empire. This video is solely dedicated to new quilters, but this goes out to anyone who quilts. These tips are very helpful and they might contribute to your journey as a quilter. We have 6 tips and tricks to do and avoid in all of your projects as a beginner quilter from our very own Missouri Star Quilt Company. So make sure to watch this video until the end. And hit that subscribe button and slap that notification bell and let's get started with the video. This is Mistakes to Avoid as a Beginner Quilter by the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Number 1. Ironing. I know that ironing might be the only way to keep your fabrics in check. Keep it smooth and straight, but there is another way to do that. Try pressing the fabric instead of ironing it. Ironing can stretch the fabric and give it a sort of arched deformity that might not be so good in the long run. To keep your fabrics flat and smooth, you have to be gentle as you move them back and forth. If you add more pressure, it could ruin the fabric. Pushing the fabric might give it a sort of bend that will not look good. Also, the seams of the extra fabric behind should always bend on a darker side as if your fabric is light, then it might show through. Number 2. Streams or starch? As a beginner, we might steam every time, but it's not the right choice. You see, steaming a fabric will make it soft and stretchy, relaxing the fabric, and is good for large pieces. Steam is good for releasing wrinkles. Starch will add stiffness and rigidness to the blocks, making them a little more rigid. They both have a very distinct effect on the fabric, so depending upon your project, you might want to see which one fits the best for yours. Number 3. Seam Ripping Ripping a seam might be the easiest part of the job. Maybe the tension between the fabric is not that strong and you want to take that out and restitch it. So if you rip a stitch to do it again, make sure to overlap the stitch. Overlapping the stitch makes sure that your seam is secure and the job is done perfectly. But if the seams are tight and puckered, you might want to take it slow and rip it slowly. You might just puncture a fabric. Or the simplest way to do it is to go through the middle, especially if you're doing a triangle. Number 4. Squaring I know when we get our fabrics, they aren't always as straight as we want them to be. But some people don't mind that. It's gonna be hidden anyway. But wait, it's actually very important to keep your fabric accurate as it will make your life much easier. It will help you keep your fabric in check. The main purpose of it is to help you have symmetry which will eliminate the risk of the seam popping out. Plus you don't have to worry about the lineup if one line is sorted out then all the others are as well. Number 5. The backing. The backing is very important in any sort of quilt. To sandwich your designed fabric and a piece of backing fabric is to make sure that the fabric stays strong and it isn't see-through. The backing fabric should always be bigger than the designed fabric, keeping two extra inches. This is because every time you add a seam, you're losing an inch. But if you're doing it in your home, you can skip this one. This applies to the quilters who are using a long arm. Make sure to calculate the front fabric and the backing properly. Number 6. The quarter inch seams. The consistency of your seam is very important. If you don't take care of that, you realize that your end product is not as consistent as you'd like it to be. The sizes of the blocks in your quilt might vary. Like, one could be 12 inches while the other could be about 11 and a half. The seams should be consistent to make sure that your quilt is perfect. Quilting is an art form where precision is very important and once you master it, all of your quilts will be one of a kind and perfect in their own way. We'll leave a link to their channel if you haven't seen them yet. Thank you so much for watching, happy quilting!